Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about a hardy winter crop. It's a biennial plant and I'm talking about the parsnip. I grow a variety called the hollow crown parsnip. I've grown it now for about eight or nine years now. It grows very well, very dependably, uh, and it also even sprouts up almost as like a weed in, in some ways uh, throughout various areas in the garden. It, I mean, it's not super invasive or anything where I grow it, and uh, it, it is certainly a welcome addition um, uh, in, in the garden. So when I grow this plant, it usually does pretty well when I plant it early in February, uh, maybe mid-February, uh, even into March. Um, even as late as April, I'll get it in, in the ground in this zone 6A climate. And the seeds can tolerate frost just fine, so if really cold weather hits, it's not going to kill the seed. Like I said, this plant can also reseed itself. The seeds will naturally sprout, uh, usually in midsummer, once they fall off the plant. So the roots won't have as much of a chance to develop throughout the season because the season will be that much shorter. So letting it reseed itself can have its own advantages, especially if you want smaller roots. If you want to like grate them up, put them in a salad, or use them like carrots, uh, may maybe that might be a, a something to do. Or if you have really good soil, uh, maybe you can uh, really get them to grow pretty well. But otherwise, I usually stick to planting them in early spring. So the leaves can actually be somewhat evergreen. They can be green. They can even be green in the winter months, which can be handy to uh, find it if you're harvesting it during the winter. Um, that way, you know the leaves don't die back quite so much and you can find them those leaves are also edible as well um, you know in moderation of course I generally eat it in a similar way to uh, how I would eat parsley uh, maybe more as a flavoring or as a, you know nibble uh, out in the garden or um, something like that but um, you know, it's, it's definitely got a potent taste to it, uh, somewhere between celery and parsley. The root is edible too, of course. It can be eaten raw. It can, uh, although I usually cook it, it can be frozen in the freezer, uh, in jars and such. Uh, if, you know, if you don't want to go through any potential hassle of having to uh, dig it up in the winter when everything is frozen solid, uh, like the ground and, 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 and such. Now, in terms of... Uh, you know, attributes that this plant can offer in the garden. It can be an excellent pollinator uh, crop. It can um, attracting beneficial insects, uh, parasitic wasps and such to the garden, uh, just like other uh, umbiliferous vegetable plants. This plant also with its deep taproot that it develops, it can, as it grows, it essentially acts as a wedge to um, open up the soil, improve drainage, uh, help aerate it. Being that it's a biennial plant, you also have a little bit of, you also might have a little bit of carryover with the uh, microbiome in the soil that it's feeding, that it's supporting even in the winter months. So it could also be kind of used as a cover crop in a way. Of course, with this parsnip plant, you would want to exercise caution as you would with any other plant that would be in the carrot family. Some people can develop a higher photosensitivity to sunlight. The fresh plant comes in contact with skin, um, or maybe if it's eaten too, I don't know. But um, uh, I mean, I've never had any problems with this plant or any uh, related uh, edible carrot family plants um, that I also grow in the garden. But you know, be aware of that, do your research and, and know what works for you and what you need to be cautious of. Also, voles can go after the parsnip. They tend to not be so crazy over it, not like they are, with like a sunchoke or uh, a plant like that, but um, um, but they can nibble at them a little bit. But I I have never found uh, massive amounts of damage to the parsnips overall. All right, so this plant is definitely a welcome addition to uh, many warm winter stews and soups uh, that can be made during the winter time uh, in these cold times. And it can be a very hearty, dependable, reliable addition to the garden. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And maybe you might want to add the parsnip into your garden as well. Uh, so, all right, thanks so much for watching. Take care.